Hey, we've been looking at photos of the 1960s, and this one is called JFK, the Master Hypnotist and Mass Hypnotism. So I'm going to take you to the photo on the left. And this is supposed to be a photo of when the Cuban Missile Crisis occurred. And you will notice that the individuals are at a television store. And I guess the photo is taken from the perspective of somebody on the outside looking into the store. So all the ones in the background, they are watching television screens and you are either in the store or outside the store looking through a glass window but you are standing like right here in front and you are face to face with the hypnotist okay so basically all news is nothing more than this mass hypnotism Now I'm going to show you a peculiarity that will be a clue that something is wrong not only with the photo but with the whole idea of a Cuban Missile Crisis. So as always the devil is in the details and you have to train yourself to look at details and not be succumbed by the overall impression. So most people would look at this and say, oh, that's just a bunch of people watching Kennedy while he talks to the nation about the Cuban Missile Crisis. However, this gentleman in the background here, who supposedly has his hand on his head, and usually that's a thinking posture. I don't know if you remember being in school and you ask a question and, and maybe you really want to think about it. You might sort of try to relax your head and put your hand on it like, oh, I'm really thinking. Okay? So he's really, really thinking about this Cuban Missile Crisis. So let's see if we can get a real close up and my camera is only good so far but I want you to look carefully at the hand on the forehead I'm trying to take it slowly so that it doesn't get blurry for you So I hope you can see this, that it's got a demonic, uh, demonic face and it's like the hand is a demon and it's pressed against the forehead almost as if to convey the idea that the demon is going into your head, not an actual fact, but a demon. disinformation from a master hypnotist JFK now if you look off to the to the side of the gentleman 
you'll see a man with his child and that's kind of I think to convey the idea that this hoax is going to pass from generation to generation and indeed it has it's a major hoax that still holds great power on many people the Cuban Missile Crisis and of course the so-called assassination of JFK now that's the next thing we're going to look at is how this is actually a prophetic photograph telling the public of what's forthcoming uh, if you notice as he's broadcasting on this particular television set there's a big hole right here <laughs> now I thought that might have been a price tag or something but I don't think so right here almost as if to suggest that very soon there's a bullet gonna come <laughs> into his head now very closely we're going to look at the right side of his head and it matches up with the so-called Zafruder film and all the information you're given that if Kennedy was hit by a bullet it would have been on the right side of his head now I said if because why? It never happened! However, in people's minds, it did happen. Now, if you look very, very carefully at the master hypnotist, the left side, or the right, excuse me, his right side of his skull area is sort of missing a little bit of something you have to look very carefully almost as if to say this is what's forthcoming I think the ear is distorted too but you can see there's like a chunk missing I don't know that I'll get it any clearer than that so I will just hold it right there for you and just simply to say that if you look carefully here there's a chunk missing and remember I showed you that big hole right up here so once again if this is in a magazine in the years 1962 you just flip through it quickly and you will not pick up on anything of what I just showed to you and you will say your overall impression will be oh my goodness a lot of people stopped to watch this broadcast about the Cuban Missile Crisis which was a hoax too and the average individual leaping through the magazine will never carefully examine the photo now what about you I hope I'm training you to carefully examine photos and if you do so you will find things now you may not find them immediately because your brain is trained to just pick up on a general impression and then be done with it but if you put it aside and you say I'm going to keep looking at it and I know I'll find something trust me you will you can do exactly what I do see the big gaping hole <laughs> in the television set 
a black hole, maybe like a bullet went through, and then of course on the side of his skull area, a missing chunk. Now remember, this broadcast is in 1962 with the so-called hoax Cuban Missile Crisis. And then in 1963, November, will come the hoax assassination. So once again, I'd like to thank you for watching. And in addition to careful observation, you need to realize there's what's called the spirit of error mentioned in the epistle of John and there's the spirit of truth which is the Holy Spirit and so these two spirits compete in your mind do not accept anything from the spirit of error accept everything from the spirit of truth the Holy Spirit I'd like to thank you for watching this video End of video.